So this video is gonna do a little bit of a reminder as to how to ID beech trees uh, through both its leaves and its trunk, and then bring you through how to uh, identify beech leaf disease and help us uh, combat that threat in our region. The first sign to look for that you're looking at a beech tree and not another type of tree is this bark. And a lot of people liken the bark of a beech tree to uh, almost like elephant legs. You can see why it's got like a grayish appearance to it. And as I'm feeling it, it's very, very smooth. Unfortunately, a lot of, uh, you know, you get a lot of carvings and stuff um, on the sides of beech trees, which we are not promoting at all. Uh, but uh, but again, it's just got this like very smooth appearance to it. It almost looks just like a, like a little joint there uh, of, an, of an elephant leg or something. So that's one of the first features to be on the lookout for. Um, also, it's leaves because sometimes, especially with saplings and stuff, you may not get um, that, that sort of smooth bark, um, at, but as it matures, it becomes even more obvious. But if you look at the beech leaf itself, uh, there's a little trick that I'll have you guys think of. So when you think of beech um, and like going to the beach and waves, you see how this leaf right here, if you look at the surface of it where my finger's coming up there, doesn't that look like little wave crests like you're going to the beach? And that's a little trick that I use. Um, just it looks like little wave crests like you would see if you did a little like uh, artistic rendering of what waves might look like, kind of cresting up there. So in other words, each of these veins that's coming off that mid rib, of the um of, of the leaf in the middle there so right where my thumb is kind of you see those veins they're coming to a uh, there you go uh coming to a point at the end where the wave will crest so that's what i'm looking for in a beech leaf it comes to a point at the end um as well where my thumb is here so when i'm diagnosing what a leaf uh beech leaf looks like those are the features that i'm looking for in addition to that like smooth elephant skin like bark Remember that initial video I had of scanning the canopy and sort of that beautiful, brilliant look you have to uh, the canopy as you're looking up while you're hiking? Well, do you notice something a little bit off and strange about that as I'm looking up into the canopy here? Take a look at some of these leaves here. You see that striping that's appearing as you're looking up into the canopy, into the, the, the sky beyond it? Yep, that is the hallmark sign that unfortunately this forest that I am in uh, Putnam County in New York State has beech leaf disease. And so if you are looking up into the canopy, you're looking for that characteristic dark banding in between those veins, those lateral veins that are coming off the midrib of the leaf. And that is, that is a surefire sign that you are looking at beech leaf disease. Eventually this might progress to it being like a more of a uh, darker color all around. It, you know, it might even turn like yellowish and start to, to wither and, and, and eventually fall off the tree. But this is what's killing a lot of trees in our region as it continues to expand. And so you can see over here as well, as I look up into the canopy, that characteristic striping, unlike the shadowing effect that I was, that I was showing you before of like leaves hiding behind the others. If you are seeing the characteristic dark band striping, you absolutely know that you are looking at beech leaf disease in our region and we need your help in mapping this. Here's a look at a really progressed version of beech leaf disease. You can see that the that darkness uh, becomes like more prevalent throughout the leaf itself. Although even if you looked at up uh, up through light up towards the canopy, you'd still probably see a bit of striping. But this is what it looks like when it's really progressed, like dark, crinkly, very very thickened. Um, and as I'm touching it, it almost feels like it almost feels like rawhide. Like I mean, it is very very thick. Uh, and what I didn't mention before is that this disease, uh, most scientists will agree, is caused by a non-native invasive nematode worm that kind of gets into the buds of this and, and starts impacting photosynthesis and growth and causes this uh, 
tissue thickening. Um, as you can see, even within the same tree, there is some variation, um, even within the same branches. So that was a healthier looking uh, beech leaf right next to this really progressed version. So, you know, eventually this is going to impact the whole tree. Um, and unfortunately, you know, we'll start to spread in this region of the forest that I'm in right now. I did want to give you a warning. Like if you're doing what I'm doing here to, uh, to feel a leaf to confirm that like that tissue thickening, please immediately put hand sanitizer on and make sure that anything that brushed up against it is cleaned. So, um, you know, we do not want this to continue to spread to other areas. So be very, very careful. I would suggest that even if you, if you're, if you don't have to be touching the leaf and you can just diagnose based on the striping alone to leave it alone. Um, but again, those are the main features that you're looking for. This is just a little bit more progressed version followed by that, like that striping pattern to know for sure, um, that you got a firm diagnosis.